In this video, you will learn how to connect and configure a new FortiGate unit in NAT route mode to securely connect a private network to the Internet. In NAT route mode, a FortiGate unit is installed as a gateway or router between two networks. In most cases, it is used between a private network and the Internet. This allows the FortiGate to hide the IP addresses of the private network using Network Address Translation, or NAT. First you'll need to connect your FortiGate into your network setup. Connect the FortiGate's internet facing interface, usually WAN 1, to your ISP supplied equipment, and connect a PC to an internal port on the FortiGate, usually port 1. Power on the ISP equipment, the FortiGate unit, and the PC that is now on the internal network. On the PC, connect to the FortiGate's web-based interface, using Forti Explorer or an internet browser. Log in using the default admin account, with username admin and no password. To connect to the internet, you'll need to start by configuring the FortiGate's network interfaces. Go to Network Interfaces and edit the internet facing interface. Set the addressing mode to Manual, and the IP netmask to the public IP address supplied by your ISP. Save the configuration, and then edit the internal interface, usually called Internal or LAN. Set the interface's role to LAN, set the addressing mode to Manual, and set the IP netmask to the private IP address you want to assign to the FortiGate. If you've changed your internal IP, delete and recreate the IP range for the DHCP server so that you assign IPs to connected devices. Save your changes. And then reconnect to the FortiGate by entering that new IP and logging in again. Now go to Network Static Routes and create a new route to allow your FortiGate to reach the Internet. Set destination to subnet, and enter an IP netmask of eight zeros. Set the device to your Internet-facing interface, and the gateway to the gateway IP provided by your ISP. Next, go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 policy, and create a new policy, which will allow internet traffic through the FortiGate. Set the incoming interface to the internal interface, and the outgoing interface to the internet facing interface. Set the rest to allow all traffic, and set the action to accept. Enable NAT, and make sure Use Outgoing Interface Address is enabled. To log and track internet traffic, enable Log Allowed Traffic and select All Sessions. Save the policy. You can now browse the internet using any computer that's connected to the FortiGate's internal interface. You can view traffic that has been processed by your FortiGate by going to FortiView All Sessions and selecting the Now view. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, click here to subscribe. And you can find a written version of this recipe on cookbook.fortinet.com.